first time in years Got my feet crossed the border from a land of Hello family, I just wanna jump in real quick and just welcome anyone that's new to my channel, welcome. And to all our returning family members, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back for another week's video. In today's video, your girl is gonna be in here with no makeup on. I have to get this space nice and clean. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal um, how I decorated the space. If you like this type of video, give me a big thumbs up. And thank you again so much. Now let's go ahead and let's get into the video. Got my head over water for the first time in years. Got my feet crossed the border from a land of just filled the tub up with all this water. According to the instructions, I'm gonna be using the Yuck Jetted Bathtub Cleaner. Gotta give a shout out to my girl, Squeaky Clean, Sean over there, Squeaky Clean Life. She has shared this several times on her channel since she has moved into her beautiful new home. And I'm telling you, I am excited about using it. Sean, thank you so much. If you have not heard of Squeaky Clean Life, you, you missing a treat. That girl is cleaning over there. She always telling me I be doing the same thing, but um, I love watching her channel. She keeps me motivated, keeps me going so that I can continue to give you guys that same energy that you're looking for. I'm just trying to bring that energy to you and motivate you. Yes, we are older, but we still have to take care of our home. So again, Sean, thank you, but I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and use this stuff now. All right, so what it says, and I'm gonna read it to you. Oh, I almost fell. Um, so I have the water in there, and it tells me the instructions is fill the tub like one to two inches over the jets with hot water, which I did. It says add four ounces of the um, Oyuk to the tub, run the jets for about 15 minutes, turn the jets off, Drain the tub, avoid skin contact with the water, and then wipe the surface of the tub clean. So I think I can handle that. So this is it, everyone. Oh, yuck. And I got it off of Amazon. I definitely have it in my storefront of my Amazon in my description box, okay? All right, so, and what I like about it, I don't know if you can see that. You see those ounces there? 
that's how you know. So it looks like you can get about three cleanings out of this bottle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right here. Then there's another one there, then there's another one. And that's it, that's how we do it. All right, let's get started. All right, Whew. I'm gonna get down low with y'all here. Okay, so I have the jets on and I'm gonna go ahead and try and measure right to this. Here we go. Got a little bit more to go. Perfect. That's about right there. You see it? So I'm going to stop right there. There should be one cleaning. The next one will be there. And then my third one will be there. So I'm going to let that go. It's now uh, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I'm at. And I'm gonna, while this is running, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with cleaning in my bathroom. And then we'll come back and I'll see what yuck comes out of these jets. <laughs> All right. My bathroom is so overdue for a deep clean. You know, you, you're so busy and you just can't get time to do some of the, the basic things that you really need to do. I would just barely, you know, make sure I wipe down the countertops, you know, the sink, you know, maybe just sweep the floor up here and there. But this bathroom needs a complete deep clean and that is what I'm doing. I'm touching areas that really, um, you know, have been neglected and just to get some of that dust down and get it all nice and clean so that I can be able to decorate it because I'm excited about decorating the space. Living in the past, we're over that 
I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high Okay, your girl is really sweating. I've been working my butt off and by having these jets on with this hot water is making it really hot in here. I have the door open to the bathroom, but OMG, do you see all this sweat? I'm busting my butt over here, guys, but I'm getting it all done. I'm doing what I need to do so that I can get this place clean and then I'm gonna decorate it. So. The Jets, I kind of let it go a little, I want to say probably about 40 minutes. It was only supposed to be 15. I guess it won't hurt, but um, I'm really seeing some stuff. So let me turn the camera around. All right, do you see what I see? Look at that. Woo! That's the nasty stuff coming out of those Jets. It's yuck all right. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. let's look. Oh, let me get up a little closer there. Look at that. That stuff started to nasty. I guess it all went over here. Oh, it's so hot over here. So, I'm going to turn this bad boy off and let the water drain. Oh, I'm so tired of shaking, y'all. Okay. And you probably can hear me better. <sighs> I gotta, I gotta take a break, y'all. I gotta take some. Whew, I got my water. Mmm. Lord have mercy, that tastes so delicious. Ah, that is so delicious and so refreshing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna empty this water out, as I said earlier, and then I'm gonna come on over here and clean the tub. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and then we're gonna get started with um, cleaning the tub out. Now, I'm gonna clean my hand because it got wet. Let me clean my hands up from that stuff. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna clean my hands up because it did touch that water. I do see a ring around the tub. So, and guess what? One of my jets popped right out of the socket. I see. Wow, I guess I shouldn't have let that go for long. I don't know. It just probably needs to be screwed on. I don't know. I'll have to check that out and see. And that's one of my jets that came out. I'm gonna have to put it back in. Like it's easy to screw back in, so I'll put it back in. But I see yuck. Look at that yuck in those jets. I see it. Do you see what I see? Do you see it? It's yucky. And this is the missing one right there. But yeah, this is did pretty good. I'm fine what it did. I'll go ahead and clean it up, you guys. I want to take this time to introduce myself. I am Shauna LaKell. I have been married to my husband, Mark, for 27 years. We have two young adults and we live in Georgia. I do work full time, so I only um, post once a week and that is on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If this is your first time stopping by, I want to extend a warm welcome to you. And thank you for clicking on today's video. And we have so many new subscribers. I just want to welcome you to the channel and to the family. And to all our returning family members, I greatly appreciate you. And thank you for your loyal support. If you have not yet to join my family, I would like to extend a warm invitation for you to click on the subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell 
and become a part of the Shauna LaKell family. We would love to have you here. And please make sure you introduce yourself to me in our comments. I would like to give you a um, more formal welcome as well as when you introduce yourself let me know what state you're watching my channel from and if you feel comfortable go ahead and leave you know some information about yourself again welcome I'm excited about decorating the space um, my thought process I wanted to add some more additional um, black pieces in my space here so I decided what I'm going to do is take all of my um, toothbrush holder and all the little knickknacks that I do have on the countertop I'm gonna repurpose those items I don't think I need to go out and spend money and that way I can go ahead and just spray paint them and I can reuse them I think that that's gonna work best for me I'm saving my coins for another project At the end of the video, I will have how to um, DIY your designer books. I did ask that question a couple of videos ago if you wanted to see how I created those books. Well, I put them in this video, so you'll be able to see that at the end of the video.
have a fiberglass shower stall and i'm telling you i hate it i hate this and it's so hard to keep it clean it's hard to find a solution that will help you clean it so i have been watching um a lot of other youtubers using the pink stuff well i went and purchased the pink stuff and this is the pace and i said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try it and we're gonna see if it's going to work i'm using it with the mr scrubber i think that's what they call it and i'm telling you this really works the pink stuff paste and using that scrubber mr scrub i think that's what it's called mr scrub i think that's it and you just keep watching i'm giving a lot of elbow grease here i'm putting a lot of effort into it but it is definitely disappearing and i was like this is disappearing right before my eyes look at it so i just keep scrubbing and rubbing it into that built on dirt that's there and I, after I rub it in there, I let it sit. So I call it, I want it to marinate, just like you marinating some steaks. That's what I want it to do. So I, after I finished doing all the scrubbing, I left it on there for maybe about 20 minutes. Or, yeah, about 20 minutes, I want to say. And then I came back and I added some water to it. And rub some more and then you would definitely see how well it works i mean it just disappeared it really works i'm very impressed with the results this is the side i clean that's the side i didn't touch and i'm seeing a difference i'm gonna leave that on so while I'm allowing that pink paste to sit there and marinate, I, I decide I'll go ahead and I will clean the drain catcher. And I'm using the same um, stuff, the pink stuff paste, and look how it just cleaned it up. So nice and clean. I'm just like, this stuff really works. Look at it. Just look. Keep watching. Okay, I'm back. I'm added just a little bit of water so that it can help move that stubborn stain. And just look how it is just lifting that dirt up. And I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing here. It's really removing the dirt that was built on because as i mentioned earlier i have hard water and it's very hard to keep it clean i also used um in my shower head a filter for hard water and it supposed to help you know remove chlorine as well as heavy metals and i'll be sharing that with you shortly in the next segment just keep watching
Everybody knows I can let you go. No, no. So what you see right here is the attachment that holds the filter. I just removed the old one out and I'm going to go ahead and clean it out and then I'm going to insert the new one. And what it does, as I said earlier, it's a filter for hard water. It removes the chlorine and heavy metal and it's just supposed to soften the water up for you. I do notice a difference when I'm putting um, my soap on. It is definitely, I don't have to use as much as I would normally use if I didn't have this filter. So it definitely is softening the water and helping the, me to use less soap. Now this end right here, it screws on to the water faucet and I'm going to show you how to screw it on. You'll see it just works really great. So we're going to go over to the shower and I'm just going to go ahead and screw it on and that's all you do. It's really simple and easy to install. I asked Mark would he please help me out it was getting really hard for me with the bending you know I some of you may know and you may not but I did have a total hip replacement and just that bending really is kind of difficult for me so he's removing all of the old nasty caulk um, from around the um, that base area of the shower and he's going to put down fresh clean white caulk I'm excited to see that also Mark is taking the steamer just going around certain areas he said he saw some mildew and he wanted to get that out of there and it definitely removed it I'm 
out of Jambele Everything been safe again now Everything for your Jambele Oh Jambele Oh, oh yeah You are not a friend of me No Baby you mean more to me More to me You are not a friend of me No Baby you mean more to me Baby, you're keeping us safe I see you See me You are not a friend of me No Baby, you mean more to me More to me You are not a friend of me No Baby, you mean more to me It's the reveal of my bathroom i love the way everything turned out my main focal point was over the um the jetted tub area that's where i mainly did most of my decorating and i only used a few pieces there um i've already had the little um table that goes across it for um you know to sit books on and i purchased a set of towels these towels are from Burlington and they buy BB and those are bees on there but from a distance in the way that I have them fold up it looks like they're circles instead of the BE the BE and I just love it it turned out really nice I think they were $13 a piece they're really big towels and I just went on and roped them up using the ropes that I already had for tie backs. And I think it turned out really nice and it really pops in that space right there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, um, one of the things I did was I went on and I spray painted these little balls that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. They're beautiful decorative balls and they were white. And all I did was I said, you know what? I'm going to do black and gold right here. And I think it really stands out in the bathroom. And I already had the little, um, those little pieces there. I don't know what you want to call them. But they're little balls and I sprayed those as well and I just created a cute little set I also sprayed the tray the tray was brown and I purchased that um, last year at the Target dollar spot um, for five dollars and I created the books um, remember a couple videos ago I created the books I can afford these books if I really want to but why? And I'm quite sure I'm helping someone else who may not be able to afford them. Here's a, a new alternative. You can DIY them. And right after this video is over, I put my DIY designer book, how you can create them yourself. And I'd rather spend my money on something else that's going to, um, that I prefer. But for some books, I'm not going to do that. And I also know I keep this little um, vase always in here. So I just added some um, pumpkin picks that I had laying around. And I think they look really nice. The white and um, orange pale type of pumpkins with my black and gold roses. And then on my countertop, I use my black and white striped vase that I purchased last year from home goods and I added some more of those pumpkin picks in there and that was pretty much all I did there oh I also added some candlesticks on each side of the vase and then I also painted that little tray it was silver and I went on and painted that and just added my a couple of my um, you know perfumes there and I think it turned out pretty nice. 
I really do. And now you will see where I also spray paint all the toothbrush holders. I think it's the soap holder as well as the soap um, dispenser and a few other little um, knickknacks that I keep on our countertop. And that was all I did. And I think it turned out nice by adding those little additional pops of black into this space. So we are outside. I recommend if you're going to do this, please do it outside so that you can have plenty of ventilation here. And I'm using the Cryon spray paint. If you don't want to use spray paint, you can actually um, paint it with some your favorite paint that you want to. So I'm using um, the black matte and the um, white matte as well. I'm going to do two books as you know I did this um, I shared this in a couple of videos ago and I purchased the books from the Goodwill store they were this particular one was a dollar ninety nine and what I did was I didn't want the pages to get um, any spray paint on them so I took some newspaper and I wrapped all the pages up so that I can go ahead and spray that black paint and I'm using this one here this one I think also was $1.99 as well all their um, hardbacks are $1.99 and then the paperbacks are 99 cents so go to your um, Goodwill store if you don't have any books and you can purchase some very inexpensive there and get you some paint and we're going to go ahead and spray paint our first book and I'm going to spray paint that one in black that is the one that I'm going to create that is for I named it that's the one for Tom Ford and I just took my time and I spray paint um, the whole entire book and made sure that I, you know it was covered in black paint and that's all you do and when I'm done with that you will see me move on to the other book and then I'll switch out the paint and use the white paint for that one Once you are finished spray painting, allow your books to dry overnight, at least 24 hours. You want to make sure when you're stacking your books on top of each other that they don't stick and the paint does not come off on the other book. You can purchase your letters from Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, Michaels, Walmart. Um, please take your books with you so that you can be able to measure the right size of lettering that you may need to, you know, so that it, it will fit your book.
Now, if you're like me, I can't draw a straight line. So I had to get a ruler and, you know, just to make sure that my lines would be straight. And when I put the letters on, everything is lining up properly. I went on and used that ruler and gave myself a line so that I can add my letters. Take your time and make sure you do it right. Um, you will see where I moved the letters. It didn't go down properly to me straight. So I had to pull it back up and try it again. And that's what crafting is all about. You know, you just have to keep trying until you get it right. And when you're done, you have a beautiful set of books that you like, that you created for your home and for your pleasure and enjoyment. Don't let anyone make you feel that you have to go out and buy the name brands. Create what you can for yourself. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. And I greatly appreciate your loyal support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.